Hi everybody, it's me, Sharon, and let's talk about one of the best ingredients everyone in America loves to work with. What could it be? Steak. There's not one steak, one type of cut, and any type of flavor of steak that I don't absolutely love. What I don't love is an overcooked piece of meat. Now this happens to everybody all the time. Whether it's on the stovetop, whether it's right there in the oven, or down there on the broiler, or right outside on the grill, people have a tendency to overcook their steak. Why? because it's time sensitive. If you're not sitting there and watching that steak all the time, there's a chance that you can overcook it. Well, let's take the whole concept of worrying about your meat out of the equation and let's talk about just perfecting the art of meat cookery. Simple. Sous Vide Supreme is what I use at home. It works really, really well. Why? 134 degrees is the exact temperature for a medium rare piece of meat. 140 degrees is the exact temperature for a medium cut of meat. Now, I can jab my steak with a thermometer all the time and worry about making sure that, you know, that I'm getting it right on the money. But then again, I've got a steak that looks like it's got polka dots all over it. I don't want that. I don't want to serve that. I want it perfectly tender, juicy, moist, and cooked to the exact temperature all the way through. This is how we do it. I've got a sous vide supreme over here, and I set my, my temperature to 134 degrees. I personally like it a little bit more on the rear side, but let's just, for the sake of argument, use medium rare, because most everyone likes it like that. Now here's what I love. Whether I put in my favorite cut of meat, a ribeye, whether I put in a top sirloin, a round roast, um, rump roast, tri-tip, you name it, any cut of meat, whether it's expensive or inexpensive, could come out remarkable and beautiful and tasty using this. Why? Because I'm able to constantly control the temperature of my meat. The longer I have it in there, the better it is. It's just marrying itself with all the different flavors that I can infuse it with. So let's get started and talk about steak. What do I have today? I have a moderate expensive, uh, I would say moderate to low expensive cut of meat. Everyone knows it, your typical top sirloin steak. Let's grab her. Now, this cut of meat, if done well, could be absolutely delicious. If not, it could taste like cardboard. It could just be tough. It's, it's, it, it, there's a lot of things that could go wrong with it. So let me show you how easy this is to do. I've got my beautiful top sirloin steak. There she is. I put her on my cutting board, and now I'm going to season it. You can get as fancy or as simple as you like. I'm going to give it some herbs and some flavoring that I absolutely love to flavor it with. Okay, so here we go. A little bit of salt and some pepper. And I, as always, I always season both sides of the meat because you want both sides to taste good. I'm going to hit it with some pepper. Perfect. I'm going to pat this down. Now I'm going to get my vac bag. Really easy. I got my vac bag over here. Now, here's the cool thing about sous vide cooking. I'm going to vacuum seal it. So everything about this steak is going to be just compressed. What does that mean? All the flavors, all the juices, all the ingredients that I'm putting in there have nowhere to go. They're not dripping down the barbecue grill. They're not evaporating into the sky. They're staying right there and reconcentrating themselves right into the meat. That is just unbeatable. Natural flavors coming out, coming right back in. So let's do this. I'm going to take my meat. I'm going to put it right in here. Here's my top sirloin. Now, I personally like garlic. Great flavor. So I'm just going to get in there, take the head off. And look how easy this is. I don't have to chop through it or anything like that. I'm not putting it on top. I'm literally just going to take it, break through, pull out a couple cloves. and drop them in. I've got some more garlic over here. I'm going to drop it in. I've got some fresh rosemary. Look at that. Nice long branch. And then some fresh thyme. Seal it right in there. So I've got my garlic. I've got my rosemary. I've got my thyme. And then I've got just a little stick of butter for extra flavor. I'm going to walk over to my vac sealer. Put in my vac bag, seal it up, and vac seal. Now what's happening here is, simply put, 
my steak and all the ingredients, the fresh herbs, the butter, the garlic, the salt, the pepper, are just compressed right in there. And it's gonna seal it off. So when I put this in the machine and let it start cooking, nothing is leaving this bag. Again, I can't emphasize how much more flavor and how powerful and robust the flavors intensify through this process. Now I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna walk over to my sous vide supreme unit and drop it right in here. There it is. Set my temperature. Turn it on. We're gonna go to set temp and I'm going to 134 degrees. And start. There it is, it's that easy. I leave it in there. Minimum cooking time, I'd say about 40, 45 minutes, right? Maximum cooking time, the longer the better. It's a relatively inexpensive cut of meat. It's got a lot of flavor, but it's gotta be cooked right. I can drop this off in the morning before I go into work for the day, leave it in there, come back home from work, and it's cooked exactly the same way that it was two hours ago, four hours ago, the only difference is those flavors intensify and they marry together. They're just happy, they're singing, they're, they're partying in there. So the, the longer the better, the yummier. But I love it because it's also simple. I mean, hey, everyone goes to work, everyone's got a life, people got things to do. You don't need to sit there and worry about how to cook my meat perfectly and how to do that. I come home, I got it in there, here I am, I'm back from a long day at the office. Now I already prepped a couple beforehand and these are ready to go. So I wanna show you. What I love about this top that it's really convenient because I can also use this as a tray to just put my meat right on after. So I've got my awesome cooked sirloin. I'm gonna bring it right over here. Now let's check this out. You hear that? That's my pan, it's nice and hot. That steak's ready to go. So I've got my pepper crust right on this top sirloin. I'm gonna put it right on the pan. Ah, oh, that sound. There's nothing better, guys. There's absolutely nothing better than that sound. You know some love and some magic is happening there. So literally, I'm just gonna let this do what it does. Let that sear and build that crust. I would say no longer than 20 to 30 seconds, depending on how hot your pan is. So I seared off the steak, 30 seconds each side. Fantastic, good crust on it. Let me take you guys back through the process of making this happen. I had my fresh steak, seasoned it with salt and pepper, added some garlic, added some thyme, added some rosemary, right? Came over here, added a little bit of butter, vacuum sealed the guy, took him in, let all the flavors compress, dropped it in the sous vide supreme, 134 degrees, perfect medium rare temperature, forgot about it. Pulled it out, here's the crust. Now it's time to enjoy our yummy, delicious, really tender, really flavorful steak. And I can't wait to cut into this thing and try it. So. Top sirloin, relatively inexpensive cut of meat. It's gonna taste like a filet. It's gonna melt in your mouth. It's gonna be so buttery, so rich. Check it out. Oh man, look at that. Look how awesome that looks. It's tender, it's juicy, it looks perfect, it's cooked perfectly. The cook line, I mean, literally if you look at it, from top to bottom is the same. It's soft, it's tender, it's absolutely delicious. Now if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna take a bite into this thing and really let you know. Mm. I mean, you bite into it, right? And the juices just explode in there. I know it sounds weird, but it really does, it's so good. I get the salt, I get the pepper, all the flavors, the garlic, the herbs, it's really all in there. And my palate is just getting all these awesome flavors. So I'm gonna cut this thing. Oh, look at that steak. That looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna get a plate. I'm gonna plate this all for you guys to see. Be right back. Let's not waste any time, right? There's my plate. I mean, it is so tender. It is so juicy. And look at the color on that. Look at that. I just want you guys to see that. 
because it is just cooked perfectly. I mean, it is so good. It is so tender. It is so moist. If I just squeeze it, look at the bounce and the give that thing has. It's, it's perfection. It's a perfectly cooked steak. This is my best friend. <laughs> Without this guy, I can't do this that well. Perfectly executed. Bon appetit.